the inside of the Jeep. We had all these trims painted with the car. Brand new paint job on the car. And the upholstery was done by Dream Upholstery. It was double stitched. It's full leather, even the sides. I don't really like vinyl on the sides. So I went with leather on everything. Kind of pricey, but it's okay. Get what you pay for. We ended up putting this big old 10 inch Android set up. You have to change this piece on the dash. It comes with the kit. It's not pricey, it's like three, 400 bucks on eBay. We also have the RGB uh, under lights as well. It's all in there, all set up. You're gonna go straight to this switch right here. You can turn it on and off whenever you want. It's all set up right there. The whole car has it. You can see the under light already on. Yeah, usually most people do the double stitching in the centers. I want it to be different, so I did it on the outer. So you can definitely see it when I got all my doors off. Get another point of view right here. Seat belts are aftermarket. I custom fit them. Just bought them off eBay. They're pretty cheap. I ended up doing them all. You do have to put resistors and all kinds of goodies on the sensors so you don't have airbag lights on or anything. Also these two, those are nice. I think those were from Amazon. Yeah, if you have any questions or anything, just shoot me a comment. If you do wanna learn how everything was put on or you need some do it yourself videos, just let me know. I will have more coming soon. This is my daily for now. I'm always finding something else to put on there. The winch was a pretty easy setup too. I went with the nylon so it doesn't rip and snap your neck or anything. I do have disconnects right here as well, just in case you feel like wheeling. Going off-roading, sometimes it's cool. You don't have to take out all the tools and do what you need to do. These big tires are 37s on 17s i left these factory i just put a little plastic dip on them because I, I mess my my rims up all the time when i go wheeling um, i do have drilled and sliced brand new rotors and pads that haven't gave me issues i did get them off ebay as well they're like 200 bucks for the whole set it was, a, it was definitely worth it thinking about going 40s next but we'll see what happens I did a flash pack pro tune on it. The transmission gets average 18, 20 miles per gallon when you don't smash. So I definitely recommend a tune for your transmission after you put big tires on your uh, Jeep. Definitely gearing, that helps a lot. Thanks again for watching my videos. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. I'll upload more videos soon.